Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pasta bake. Alright, I'm starting out here with a 5 quart Dutch oven. I have preheating. I'm going to add in 2 pounds of lean hamburger. And I'm also going to add in one small onion that I diced up. I'm going to brown this all up. Alright, my hamburger's done browning and I drained the grease off. Now it's either I'm going to add in a jar of spaghetti sauce, this meat flavor. I'm going to see if one jar is going to be enough. Let me add a little water to this. If not, I have a second jar on hand. This a stir. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in that second jar. So this is two 24 ounce jars of spaghetti sauce I'm adding in. And I have elbow macaroni over here boiling on the other burner. That's going to go in when that's done. Okay, give that a stir. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add some cheddar cheese, mild cheddar cheese that's uh, shredded. This is a four cup pack. I'm going to add about two and a half to three cups in, in the sauce and reserve the other cup for on top of the pasta bake. Stir that all in there. Alright, my elbow macaroni is done boiling, and that was a one pound box that I boiled. I'm going to mix this in with the sauce and the cheese and a hamburger. Stir this up good. Now this burner has been off, but the uh, hot macaroni will help melt everything and it will melt while it's in the oven baking. I would have a 9 by 13 uh, baking pan here that I pre-greased with some cooking spray and I'm going to add in my pasta mixture and I have a, a cookie sheet under that just in case if it boils over. Let's move this out nice and even. Alright, I'm going to add in some water. I have a cup of water here. I'm roughly going to add in about a half a cup of water. That way this doesn't get too uh, dried out or thick. And then I'm going to finish by topping this off with that remaining cup and a half of cheese or so, or two cups of cheese. Get out of there. All right, now I'm going to cover this with foil. And I have my oven preheated to uh, 350. I'm going to put this in for about 20 minutes with the foil on. Then I'm going to pull it out, take the foil off, and let it continue to bake for another 10 minutes to brown the cheese. Okay, I took this out of the oven and I allowed it to rest for 10 minutes so it doesn't run every, everywhere. Let's cut into it and see how it looks.
Okay, there you have it. Really quick and easy pasta bake. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.